Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video on my on the Crew 2, and this time we're going to be in, uh, taking a look at the Gamescom 2017 trailer. We're going to be also looking at the trailer that they released to showcase the pre-order DLC pack that you get for pre-ordering the games. And then we will also look on the Steam store to see what they actually have in terms of pre-orders available for you. So, let's get right into this video. Also, I want to mention real quick that I just got back from vacation yesterday, so at the time I'm uh, recording this video, I know I'm a little bit late, but... There was a reason behind that. I was busy with vacation time and I couldn't really do a video because hotel internet sucks and I didn't have my computer with me at the time. So I was gone from my computer for about 10 days. So now I'm back. So let's get right into this video. So here we see right, uh, right so right here we see by the looks of it New York City and I don't know what I don't know what it is, but this road right here for some reason reminds me of Detroit, but this actually is most likely New York City. You can see in the background that's the New York City skyline. So let's keep going. And we just skip the Audi TTRS. And uh, where is it? There it is. There's the Audi TTRS. Popping up on screen for a second. The plane, the boat. It's under the hood. And, and we have more cars showing up. Here we see in this little scene right here, we see some traffic cars and of course... The Audi TTRS and the Unlimited GT3 RS Skid, uh, doing some skids or drifts. And the graphics still look amazing. There was the Camaro Z01. Let me actually scroll back a little bit. There it is right there. It looks very nice. And as you can see, the driver actually has a helmet on. So character customization is confirmed and actually has been confirmed as well with uh, the use of uh, the pre-order bonuses. So we'll take a look at that later, though. The roar of the engine. There's the Camaro Z01 again, looks very nice. And there's all three cars right here. Camaro Z01 again. Also, the Camaro Z01 actually had like a Gallardo engine sound to it. I don't know why it did, but it just did. We can never go back. There's the Audi TTRS, which uh, looks absolutely amazing, by the way, again. Looks very nice. Then, ah, oh God, I missed the non live GT3 RS. I haven't done this for a while. There we go. There's the 911 GT3 RS with the, another guy wearing a helmet. And the Camaro Z01 again with the Crew 2 license plate. And here they're jumping. And here they're showcasing the ability to, tr to change between different vehicle types like water, air, and ground vehicles. He's driving the ground vehicle. And then he jumped to the water uh, vehicle along with the, the DMC M31s, I believe those were. Yeah. DCB M31. The There's the plane again. Flying around the San Francisco Bridge. The sky. There's some Mustangs as well. Those are the new Mustangs. And it looks like these are actually drift spec Mustangs because look at that front camber. That's the kind of stuff that the drift, the drift spec versions of cars would have. On the track. Doing some drifts. And then there are actually the Pagani Wiras. We have the Pagani Wira making a return into the, the Crew 2, which is absolutely amazing. Look, it looks like they're actually recycling the Cruise 3D model into this version of the game. And it actually looks like there's a Koenigsegg sitting to the far left of the screen. I don't know if you can see it. Look at the top left. That looks like a Koenigsegg at Jera R. Either that or it's another Wira. No, it's actually a Wira. I take it back. Looks very nice. The wire actually looks amazing in this game for some reason. It, this picture right here, actually, this part of the trailer, this for some reason reminds me of Drive Club. The game looks like a lot like Drive Club in this part of the of the trailer. We the limits. There we have a look at the wheel of the wire. I don't know why I did that, but still. And then it transitions to the Formula One cars. I mean, just look at them. Also, to confirm as well, these are not actually, these are based off the Bugatti E, uh, that Bugatti concept car that people are talking about, that Formula One concept car, but it's not actually called that in the game. It's called the Proto Alpha 01 2018, and it's based on the Grand Prix Alpha cars. I don't remember exactly what it was, but yeah, this is not the uh, Bugatti type Formula One car. This is just a, a car that the developers made themselves, which is absolutely amazing seeing that. And it does, res again, it does resemble 
These these cars do actually resemble those Bugatti prototype cars, but at the same time, not really. There's the KTM 450 and the buggy. It looks like there'll also be proper leading physics as well with the bikes. As you could, if we go back a little bit, you'll see that the biker is actually kicking out a leg to lean in, which means that we are looks like we're actually gonna have proper leading physics with uh, the crew too, which is what the players actually requested for the first game. There's a Camaro Z1 again, pulling up to a stoplight, and the Formula One car along with the buggy at the stoplight. There's the buggy doing backfire with nitrous. There's the Formula One car doing backfire with nitrous and all of them doing a burnout in this one scene. Speed and, victory. and now we actually have an official launch date for the Crew 2, March 16th, 2018, which is absolutely amazing. It's finally got a launch date, but it's still a long ways away. Then we'll look at the legendary pack a little bit later. But I guess that's pretty much it. Is there anything else at the end of this trailer? Not really. It's actually got the... Oh, what the heck? It's actually got the legendary motors pack playing in the background of this trailer. As you can see, it's playing in the background. So I'm going to cut out right here real quick. And then I will show you the trailer for the legendary motors pack. BRB. Okay, so here I am back. Let's take a look at the legendary motor packs trailer real quick. And so here's the first car that we have. We have the Mercedes C63 AMG DTM edition. It's, it's actually based on the DTM car, but for some reason it's called the Touring Car. Let me scroll back a little bit and you can see it looks absolutely amazing. The headlights look absolutely amazing, by the way. So here you see it's the Mercedes AMG C63 Touring Car 2016. It's absolutely amazing that this is coming in. We actually have two versions of the... Uh, they actually have two cars coming in. There's uh, the, the original one, the C-Class Touring Car, which is from the original game, The Crew, that circuit spec version, and we have this one coming in, which is absolutely amazing. We have the old one and the new one in the game, which is great. I'd like to see that. Now all we need is the Audi, the uh, some Audi DTM car in the game, and that'll just complete the entire system. And of course, we already have the M4 DTM as well, the BMW M4 DTM, which is great. I can't wait to drive this car, by the way. And I will for sure be pre-ordering the game, because I really want to drive this car in the game, just for the fact that it looks amazing. Let's continue on. And by the way, the taillights, they look absolutely amazing. This actually cut out away from the taillights. But yeah, look at those taillights, they look amazing. I'm glad that the developers actually made it look good. And then there it goes again, it flies past on the track. And the, final, the next bike is we have a Harley-Davidson bike, and they actually announced this on YouTube, on uh, Facebook and Twitter, that they're actually getting Harley-Davidson bikes in the game, which is not too special, be because let me explain real quick. Uh, Harley, I'm not too excited for Harley-Davidson bikes coming into the game, because honestly, I've already seen so many Harley-Davidson bikes in America that it just I'm just sick of them, to be honest. I don't really... Uh, I'm, I don't have nothing against Harley-Davidson bikes, but the fact that they're just so common just doesn't really make them too special, in my opinion. But I guess they're cool bikes, but not my cup of tea, to be honest. I mean, I will drive this, but it's just not my cup of tea, sorry. It's the Harley-Davidson Iron 883 2017. It's great to see that they're getting 2017 vehicles in their game. And then there's both of these cars again. Both of the vehicles, actually. Let's actually stop at a good moment, and this is not a perfectly good moment. There's a dude driving the bike. A black dude, by the way, which is nice, I guess. There's a little bit of... Never mind, I'm not going to go there. But yeah, there's the DTM. Mercedes again. Looks absolutely amazing. And look at that wing, by the way. That thing is huge. It's massive, and it even has, like, tire text on it and tire painting. It's really awesome. And so that's pretty much it for this trailer. Now what I will do for you guys here is I will cut out again, but this time we're going we're gonna to be going on the Steam store and we'll t be taking a look at what the pre-order bonuses will be for the crew too, so stay tuned for that in a second. Alright, and I am back. So we're here on Steam taking a look at the pre-order bonuses for the game now. here There's actually three options for you to pre-order the game. 
pre, uh, pre-purchasing the Crew 2, which is basically just pre-ordering the base game, pre-ordering the deluxe edition of the game, which is $70 here. We have $60 for the base game, $70 for the deluxe edition, and then the gold edition is $100 which I will explain a little bit later as to why I think it's worth a hundred it's uh, they think it's worth a hundred dollars but yeah this is all the pre-order options and here's the offers that they give you so pre-ordering the base game will give you the legendary motors pack which give, will give you the Harley Davidson bike and the Mercedes AMG C63 touring car now that's actually a mistake it's supposed to be a C63S touring car because the C63 touring car would be that 2012 uh, mer- version but that's not too big of a deal. We still know what it is. Next up, we actually get the the digital with the the deluxe edition version of the game when you pre-order it. So you get the same exact pre- legendary motors pack that uh, every single one will give you. But you will also get the motorsports deluxe deluxe pack as well. And with this, you will get the fr- the 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor, I believe it's the rate spec variant. Then you'll also get the Platus PC21, which is a plane. And the also, you'll also get the Fiat five uh, the Abarth five hundred twenty eight two thousand and eight as a monster truck, which is awesome. And you will also get different cus- uh, outfits for your character depending on these vehicles. So you'll have be able to customize your character, which is absolutely amazing. And yeah, as you can see, three outfits. Now the special edition, which is the gold edition, this is the hundred dollar pack that will give you pretty much everything that you saw here. You'll get the Legendary Motors Pack, you'll get the Motorsports Deluxe Pack with the F-150, the Platus Plane, and then the Abarth. And you'll also get the Season Pass. I don't know why the Steel Book is here, by the way. This is not actually a disc copy of the game. This is a digital copy of the game, so I'm pretty sure this is just an error. The Steel Book is an error. And you'll also be able to get the game, play the game, three days earlier than everybody else that doesn't pre-order the Gold Edition, which is awesome. And I'm pretty sure, as far as I can tell, the Season Pass is going to be worth about $30, judging by the fact that it's a $30 increase from the Deluxe Edition and the Gold Edition, considering the Gold Edition doesn't actually come with the Season Pass, and it's $30 cheaper. So that's just my assumption. I don't know for a fact. And I don't know for a fact if the Steelbook will actually come with uh, the Gold Edition on Steam, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And of course, if you actually look closely at the Steelbook edition of the game, you'll actually see there is a 2015 Dodge Challenger on the cover of the game, which basically confirms the fact that we will actually be getting the Dodge Challenger in the game. And of course, it even looks like it's got a demon hood on it, so this could actually be the Dodge Demon, which is absolutely amazing. And so that's pretty much it for this video. There's just information about the game. The system requirements are still not up to date yet. It still just says you need DirectX version 11, which pretty much every single PC game requires nowadays. And so, yeah. I will obviously be pre-purchasing the Gold Edition, because if they actually do include the Steelbook for the Steam version, then I definitely want to actually show you guys the Steelbook of this game, and of course, the Steelbook, and honestly, I've never gotten a game with a Steelbook, that'll be a very interesting experience to get the Steelbook. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give the video a like and stuff, and I will see you in the next one.